This uh, installation is called Srinagar and it's uh, the name of course comes from the city of Srinagar which is the capital of, of the state of Kashmir where I've been working for the past four or five years. I embedded myself uh, with a craftsman uh, in a craftsman studio and worked with them and learned uh, from them their, their knowledge of motifs and patterns that they've been working with for years. They work on paper mache which is a uh, uh, a material that in India is known to come from Kashmir. Uh, so the craft industry is full of little bowls and vases and boxes made of paper mache on which the craftsmen have painted uh, motifs. Um, of course for me the, more, the most interesting thing was understanding that these motifs that they work with are not endemic to the region. They come, they are, they have in them five, six, seven hundred years of, uh, of history of travel of people moving across borders from uh, Iran and Central Asia into, into the north of India and Kashmir. And uh, over, the, over the course of the time in Srinagar working with the artisans, I also came to understand the history of Srinagar, which is a 2000, 2500 year old history of which traces are still there. And this history is today being lost due to the media narrative which is emerging because uh, Kashmir has been in a state of unrest uh, for the last uh, 67 years. Uh, the installation, of course, uh, while the tiles uh, tell the story of my work, my collaboration with the artisan studio, the political aspect of, the, of, 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 uh, of that immersion in that area comes out through looking at the slideshow and the drawings which are on the wall, uh, which relate to the instrument of accession, to the, to the United Nations resolution on, uh, on the plebiscite and also into the state of Kashmir, the borders, what it is now, where a part of it is administered by uh, Pakistan, a part, by, a part of it is uh, ruled by China and a part by India. Along the walls there are uh, uh, their drawings uh, uh, and uh, one of the main drawings uh, is, is, is this diagram which explains the the, the, the explains anamorphosis, which is a technique by which an image can be distorted in such a way that you can only look at it from one angle. And as you move away from that angle, the image expands and distorts away from the viewer. And this for me became a metaphor in terms of what I see happening as a political process in Kashmir where nothing that you hear can be taken for granted, that there's always, there's always different versions for a story that emerges in the media or elsewhere. And uh, 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 as a, as a, uh, so this, this, uh, this uh, diagram takes on a very central role in this installation. It's a very dynamic document as an image, um, but it's also meant to open up in the viewer an idea of why I am using this uh, image as a metaphor uh, for what I see happening in Kashmir without falling into the media narrative that is so much a part of this of the story that comes out of the state today.